as in all family I think the unsaid is very powerful I'm playing Dora who is Rachel's grandmother <laughs> who has been living alone for a while now and is coping with living alone and very determined to continue living alone. I'm playing Helen, um, Dora's granddaughter and at the start of the play I arrived down at Dora's doorstep uh, late one night um, with some news. I'm Lily and I am the mother of Declan. Uh, Lily is a sort of successful business person who whose life was kind of quite sorted and now she's plunged back into an intensely emotional family situation. I'm playing Declan, who is a young man who's dying from AIDS in the late 90s and he moves back into his grandmother's house um, and uh, to try and reconnect with his mother and his family and his grandmother. Well, we come as a pair, kind of. Um, we're friends and friends of the main character, if there is a main character, if you like, or the, the protagonist. Yeah. Uh, we're his uh, friends and kind of caretakers, so obviously he's suffering from AIDS, and we're, we've come down to his... Uh, his uh, grandmother's house. His grandmother's house to help look after him. So we're friends and caretakers of, of, uh, of Declan, the main character. And it brings up that whole story about... Uh, within gay life, I suppose, if you choose your own family, once you move away from your biological family, and then the drama that will happen when yeah. your chosen family and your biological family meet at a time of crisis. Yeah. I play Essie, who is every neighbour you've ever had has to know everything about everyone, or it really disturbs their sleep. You can expect to meet the quirkiest, uh, most kind of fascinating characters and see them as they struggle to get their heads around, you know, uh, the, the, the cruelty of what this disease is doing to their, their beloved Declan. I think that audiences will really connect with the characters in this play on a lot of different levels. Yeah, but it recalls a dark time, I think, in Ireland's past. But I think it's relevant because you know, we see in, in the news today there seems to be a resurgence in violence against LGBTQ plus people, and uh, so it's like still relevant today. We have to remember where we've come, how far we've come, but how I suppose delicate that progress is. There is deep tragedy in it, but there's also tremendously hilarious comedy. It operates at an unconscious level. Mm. This. This house is on the edge of the sea, it used to be a and b so there's a kind of a, a way in which it interacts with the larger community in quite a formal kind of way. I think in that way that David and obviously Colin have uh, yeah, captured the way that Irish people deal with tragedy. Um, which is with a lot of tea and humour. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of that in this play. <laughs>